Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball here today with another Pokemon TCG Online video, and I had a number of requests from you guys to build a Team Magma deck with Silent Lab, and uh, here you guys go. This is here you have it. It's gonna be uh, Team Magma's Groudon EX. It's a 190 HP Fighting type Pokemon. It's got a huge retreat cost, and it is weak to Grass. Uh, but we're going to have some fun today. It's got the ability Power Saver. If there are four or fewer Team Magma Pokemon in play, this Pokemon can attack. <laughs> and so uh, we don't want to deal with this. Uh, what we're going to be using, as I mentioned before, Silent Lab. A lot of you guys wanted to see this deck. But uh, you know what? I, I, I made a couple variations, and I found that it is pretty hard to power up uh, Team Magma's Groudon EX without some of its partners, right? Claydol and Camerupt, especially. So, um, you know, Magma Quake, it's for four energy, three fighting, and one colorless. It does 80 damage, and it does 80 more damage if the opponent's um, active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it. Well, how can we pull this off? Um, well, as I mentioned before, we have Silent Lab. Each basic Pokemon in play in their hand and in each player's discard pile has no abilities. That means this ability is turned off. That's only for basics, though. So that means Crobat here and Goldbat here still have abilities since they are Stage 1 and Stage 2. Uh, we can use Surprise Bite and Sneaky Bite and put some damage onto our opponent's active Pokemon. And bada bing, bada boom, we have... Magma Quake doing its fullest potential, 160 damage plus the damage that was just played, either from a sneaky bite, sneaky bite or surprise bite. That's anywhere between um, 180 to 190 damage, uh, you know, in a single turn. So I think there's some things here that we can take advantage of. Of course, this is going to be a very heavy Pokemon line. You can see there's 20 Pokemon. We only have two attackers. And so if both of them are prized, we are done for it. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. I mean, not really. If both of them are prized, uh, you can never discredit Crobat. It's for skill dive for a colorless energy. You can still do 30. And we don't play muscle ban because uh, if if we're already putting 20 damage on the field, and uh, or 20 or 30 damage on the field, there's no need to play muscle band and uh, potentially get it, you know... Uh, discarded with Star on the Megaphone anyway, uh, but I figured, you know, it's really packed. This deck is so packed that we might not need to play Muscle Band, and we might not need to play any special energies. One thing I tested with this deck was that I tested it with Strong Energy and a Double Color, a Double uh, Fighting Energy, Team Magma Fighting Energy, all these special energies, and what I found was they're actually very inconvenient. If you're going to be using potentially skill dive with a you know a regular energy, then you're wasting your time with these strong energies and and double fighting energies. And so another thing too is that they get easily discarded by uh, you know enhance hammer, Cobalion's righteous edge, a whole bunch of stuff discards uh, special energies. And so I found that you know we're just going to play uh, regular energies. And it works really well for Camerupt. Team Magma's Camerupt here does Burning Draft as an ability. And once during your turn before attack, you may attach a Fighting or uh, Fire Energy from discard pile to this Pokemon. Now, you might be thinking, yeah, but it doesn't say Special or, or Regular Basic Energies. It's just any energy. Very true. The catch is here, right? With Baltoy evolving into Claydol, this is once during your turn before you attack, you may move a Basic Energy from one of your Pokemon to one of your Team Magma Pokemon. And that's a problem there as well. Uh, you can only move it to Team Magma Pokemon, but it works in our case since we're only moving it to um, Ground and EDX. Well, technically it's not a problem at all, right? So if we if we do want to do a skill dive and we attack for 30, later on, eventually, we can always use a Clay Doll to move that energy off of your Pokemon. Right? It doesn't say it has, it's only a Team Magma Pokemon, but it has to go to a Team Magma Pokemon. It doesn't matter where it's from. It's the destination that matters. So there's that. That's pretty sweet. And so there's some pretty good synergy with these the bats and these two uh, other supporting Pokemon. So we're just going to be playing a 2-2 line of each of these Stage 1s, and we're going to see how it runs. Um, Otherwise, this is a pretty big full line of Pokemon here. 20 Pokemon cards. Uh, pretty atypical. As for the item cards and whatnot, we have Battle Compressor. Only one of these. Um, the strategy with the Battle Compressor is just mostly for the Camerupt. 
being able to use Burning Draft. And, you know, if you have two camera ups in play, which is kind of unlikely, you really only need one. Uh, but the Battle Compressor can work out to get some energies into the discard pile and allow you to use camera ups ability consecutively in, like, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back turns or something like that. Uh, otherwise, we have Computer Search as the ace of choice, being able to discard two cards and searching for any card as you please. we got one Escape Rope because our Team Magma Groudon EX is a fat Pokemon. Uh, we have uh, Professor's Letter. You never know when you might need to, you know, just draw a Professor's Letter. Um, Starling Megaphone. And then we have three Scoop Ups for the Bats. Uh, we got Switch right here. we got Team Magma's Great Ball. Works very well for all the Team Magma Pokemon we have. Uh, we have the Ultra Ball, two of these, and two Fiat Seekers. That's it for the item cards. On to the support, leader, support line. We have Colrus, one Karina, and one Lysander. One Lysander's Trump card, three ends, one Professor Birch's Observations, and four Juniper, one Skyla. Uh, that's about it for the support line. And here it is again, Silent Lab showing off basic Pokemon abilities. Uh, we have the... 10 fighting energies this is a very clean kind of setup 20 30 and 10 uh, i wish those were my stats in nba 2k 30 points 20 rebounds 10 assists that'd be pretty sweet if you guys don't play nba 2k that's fine too <laughs> so all right without further ado let's go ahead and see this deck in action on pokemon tcg online All right, looks like we're playing against Bomato or Bomato, Tomato, Tomato. I'm not sure. Uh, we do get to go first. That's good news for us. That way we can evolve first. We have uh, two camera ups in here. Uh, that's a little inconvenient. Plus the energy that we're not going to be using. Um, we do get a gold bat. Uh, hmm. uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to end and hopefully we can draw into a better hand. Um, Let's take a look here. I think something the most the, something that's a little bit more valuable to me uh, would be the Numel, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the uh, Groudon going. I think that's pretty that's a worthy cause right there. So let's go ahead. We'll just play these guys down, and there we go. All right, and we'll end the turn. We do have the Gold Bat. We can evolve next turn. Uh, my opponent has Fighting Resistance, but hopefully that. Oh my goodness, that is just awful. Uh, we have a jamming net that we have to deal with, um, but hopefully we should be able to overcome that. We're hitting for only 140. Um, well, we're hitting for 120 on the Tornadus, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what we can do. If we can get enough bats into play, we can probably put some damage on the Tornadus. Otherwise, it will have to be a two-hit knockout for him. Uh, oh, man, now I really regret not getting the new mole. Um but that's okay. So here we go. We have uh, this going for us. Uh, got some more energies here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and discard a bunch of these. So we can get that Numel going at the very least. So in some, at some point, uh, I want to get the uh, Claydol going as well. So, uh, well, let's just, let's just go with this. There's two in the discard pile. I'm going to go ahead and thin out the deck a little bit. Let's just get rid of the Lysian Strum card. No need to see that anymore. And let's just go with that. Let's go with the uh, Skyla. Go for the Juniper. And that should do the trick. Let's end the turn there. We will evolve and play the energy. And then play the Juniper. Maybe we can get the Claydol going. And uh, maybe even retreat. I'm not sure. Okay. So this is going to be the big turn here, folks. And it's a shame. We will end up discarding the, go the Crobat. But uh, it is what it is. And uh, alright. Let's go ahead. We'll put some damage on to the Tornadus, and I'm going to go for the scoop up. Uh, we whiffed the scoop up, um, but, you know, we should be able to attack this turn, and it's a bit of a shame, but um, we're going to have to end up going with uh, a two-hit knockout. What I want to do is put pressure on him. That's really all I really want to do is put pressure on the tornadoes on my opponent and oh we don't have the <laughs> we don't have the stadium but hopefully we can get it in the next turn uh, my opponent has an absol over here oh that's absolutely scary um and okay looks like i'm gonna go ahead we'll play the start on the megaphone let's go for the chorus we do get the silent lab and we even get this so we should be able to knock him out in one hit i think uh maybe not um but let's take a look here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and what I want to do is get another 
a backup attacker. Let's go ahead and get this Groudon going. I'm going to put an energy drop over here. Let's just go ahead and bring some more energy in. And we'll rotate it on to this guy. Look at that. So we still have three energies in the discard pile. And that means we have six out here. We have plenty in the deck that we can still draw into. Let's go for the Magma Quake. A little bit short because of this stinking jamming net. But what definitely what I want to do is put some pressure on my opponent. It's a shame we couldn't knock him out. But um, ooh, we see an escape rope. I'm going to go with the Curl Bat. Or the gold bat. Uh, that's the least valuable to us right now. I need to keep these guys here. And my opponent counters the stadium, but we should have two more in the deck. And uh, off this juniper, I should. Ideally, we should be getting something at least. I don't know. My opponent plays a pal pad, brings in the juniper and the uh, end. My opponent knocks out my poor little gold bat. But no matter, we should go and. Oh, we even see a zoo bat replacing that one. Um, we do get a crowbat, but we don't get much of anything else. So let's go ahead and let's finish off this guy. Maybe we can top deck something here. Oh, shucks. Uh, okay, so let's go with the burning draft and let's go with the magma switch. Again, we can't switch it on to the crowbat. It's a bit of a shame. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm... Oh man, let's go let's see if we can scoop him up and we can. So that's good news. Um I don't know. This is a little bit tricky. Um we can we could bring up the the curl bat. Um All right, we'll just bring up the curl bat and what I want to do is all right, let's just promote this guy. Uh I think that should be pretty good and we will end the turn. Now, I'm going to probably end up I don't know, man. This is pretty bad because it looks like we might end up junipering our hand away because the uh, our computer search is in the discard pile. So we can't play Karina and get the computer search to search out for that stadium. And so uh, with the stadium war, we should probably play four copies. But hey, we get end and ooh, we get end into a VS Seeker, which we can go for a Chorus. Um, our team Magma Groudon will still be awake, uh, will still will not faint yet, and no need to do that. Um, my ab the, my opponent's Absol is weak against fighting type, so uh, let's go ahead and we'll just target. Um, I don't know. Let's just target the the uh, the dark I guess. Let's go with the Colrus here. Uh, probably could have gone with a Juniper, but nope, no matter. Here's the Silent Lab. And let's just go with the Burning Draft. That way we can get the um, the Groudon EX in the active spot onto the bench to you heal him a little bit, uh, ease him from the pain, and we'll go with the Magma Quake, 160 with the weakness. And the Darkrai should be getting knocked out in the next turn with the Lysander in hand, unless my opponent plays the end. But here comes the Darkrai. The Darkrai does not have free retreat, unless my opponent wants to burn uh, everything here. But we could see an N. Okay. Uh, we get an end for ourselves as well, which I can end ourselves again. But my opponent wants to do a Night Spear, probably on the Team Magma Groudon EX. My opponent can still play something like a Pokemon Catcher, but not too many people play Pokemon Catcher nowadays. Um, we could see uh, maybe an Escape Rope. I'm not sure. Could see a Switch. Um, I'm not exactly positive. We have the end, which I probably will play. My opponent will be targeting the Team Magma Groudon EX on the bench. It's only got 40 HP left, but would still survive the turn even with a Night Spear. Uh, so I'm not sure. Maybe this Dark right here is looking to, to to be put to rest. I don't know. Maybe he just wants to faint right now. Uh, we see the Evil Tall EX over here, and we see an Energy Switch probably going on to the Evil Tall. Again, my opponent doesn't have the Dark Cloak ability to retreat. So, I, I'm wondering if my opponent would maybe suggest retreating right now into the Evil Tall uh, with the Fighting Resistance. And, oh, we see, what, uh, very strange uh, events right here. And my opponent opts to just go for the 90, and uh, we will go and knock out this, um, this Dark right here. So, let's go with this. Um, let's see here. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. Uh, we can definitely retreat or something like that. I I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Well, I'll just play this here for now. Let's go for the end. I can always switch them out later. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this here before we get end or anything. Let's just put some damage onto the evil tall. And we do have a VS Seeker, which I'm going to hang on to. And we're going for the Magma Quake. That should be good. Wow, 320 damage. We get a Clay Doll and a Juniper off of our prizes. Uh, my opponent brings out an evil tall EX with no energy yet. My opponent probably should have, uh, I don't know, maybe my, since my opponent couldn't retreat, uh, you know, couldn't really do anything there. Um, and uh, I guess decided to not energy switch those two darkness energies onto the evil tall. And uh, here we go. We see a computer search. We can see something like an ether. I don't know. And uh, maybe a DCE. That could be pretty devastating. Uh, if we see an ether and DCE, uh, that's doing a ton of damage. That's Wow, that would be a knockout on our team, Magma Groudon. We do have one more on the bench here that we can potentially use to attack as well. Um, let's take a look at our discard pile. We have Lysander's trump card in there. We only play two Team Magma Groudon EXs, so if we end up losing out on both of them, then, I mean, we can definitely try to use the uh, Lysander's trump card and then the next turn play Juniper. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Let's see, my opponent does play a Juniper there, and my opponent's down to eight cards left in his deck. We see a Spirit Tomb get discarded, a handful of energies, and there we go. My opponent retreats, and we get hit for uh, 40 plus poison. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, and I guess I could just knock out to this. Yeah, that's it. Let's just go with the knockout here. GG, and uh, Team Magma's Groudon takes the victory. So that is it, folks. I'm out of time. I had a lot of requests for this deck. A lot of requests. And uh, I thought I'd give it to you guys. So there you guys go. It is Team Magma's um, Groudon EX. And wow, we were able to put out 90 damage. And uh, the MVP most definitely would be Team Magma's Groudon EX. All right. Well, you know, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you guys, if you guys have other deck ideas, shoot them my way, and I'll see if I can build them. You guys have a great day. Take care. See you guys later. Goodbye.